I've come to the realization that the majority of men are lonely. 90% of men feel lonely, whether they have literally no one that they can turn to, or whether they are surrounded by people, but people they can't really call good quality friends. Friends who don't really care about him. Surrounded, yet feel lonely. You know, the past few days I have been going out on motorcycle rides with a, a friend quite a lot, and I've been hanging out with these three guy friends that I would literally call my brotherhood. Three men that I hugely respect, and you know, I've been going out on motorcycle rides a lot, and sitting out in nature, watching the sunset come down, getting up 6am in the morning, going to the gym, it made me really realise this. I've been thinking about this a lot recently, and it's why I wanted to make this video. It made me really think about two years ago. Two years ago where I was not in a good place. I was working a 9-to-5 job. I left college because the closest friends I had, we weren't that close anymore. And I felt lost. So I left college to try and find my own path. What I stumbled across was a 9-to-5 job, drugs, alcohol, and a video game addiction. Working five days a week and on my two days off, I would stay in, smoke weed, drink, and play video games all day. And then I had a motorcycle crash and... It really made me think about my life. I couldn't even walk for quite a while. And it really made me reconsider my life. And you know, thinking about all of this recently, it has made me really come to understand that male loneliness is... Unfortunately, it's a big reason why men face with depression nowadays. It's not the only reason, of course. There are so many aspects that come into it, but male loneliness, it's a big part. And this is why I wanted to make this video because I realized more than ever over the past few days how important it is that brotherhood is. You see, if I had the choice between two different friend groups, you know, 10, 20 friends, we all go out drinking every night, every weekend, to go out to the clubs, and uh, they're sort of that typical degenerate group of friends. We go out, we smoke a joint together, we go out drinking in a club together. Anytime I say that I'm tired or I want to go to the gym instead or I want to do something else, I am shunned because of it and I am peer pressured to going to the bar to have a drink with them. That type of friend group or the literally three friends I have right now. Just three. However, we don't drink, we don't smoke. We've quit all that, we go to the gym, we meditate, we go on late night drives to find some random place in the woods so we can find the next beautiful sunset. We're all aiming to improve our physical health and our physical look so we can become absolutely shredded. We're trying to create a business. I would choose this friendship group over the degenerate friends every single time, even though there's only three. I never feel alone with them compared to that group of 10, 20, majority of the time I did. I am so unbelievably lucky to have these three guys, and to be honest, that's all I ever really need. And the same thing goes for you. All you literally need, if you have no one right now, if you clicked on this video and you got this far and you, you feel just as lost as I did. First of all, fuck man, I feel for you. It sucks. I was in the same position as you and it, it really does suck. But I also want to tell you, it's not going to stay like that. I went through literally years, two years ago, two, three years ago. I felt so alone before I left college. I felt so alone years before that. So it's not two, three years. It's literally like longer than that. And it's only a couple months recently that I've really started to feel less alone. And that's when I met these guys. I was alone, well, felt alone for a very long time. It does really have a toll on your mental health. But I started focusing on myself, started going to the gym more, started meditating, gratitude journaling, started going out to nature, trying to find my passion, my purpose in life. And whilst doing this, I ended up skating, ended up meeting an old friend, and then he ended up introducing me to his friend, and then I ended up introducing them into self-improvement. And we both have, all of us have been improving ever since. And even though it was a couple of months ago, it's the first time I've felt 
truly good in a very long time. And that's all you need. This path that you are on currently, this path you have chosen where you want to walk, where you want to go in your life, in your future, if you are aiming to improve yourself, to physically improve yourself or mentally improve yourself or financially improve yourself, whatever it is you are walking on this path right now, you will meet others on the same path, walking the same direction as you. Now it's your choice whether you talk to them and make friends with them or not, but it's guaranteed you will meet others. And that could be the next person, that one friend that you need, that you can completely and utterly trust. The definition of a friend is someone who cares about you, thinks about the best interests for you, and you think about the best for them, no matter what. The friends you're currently surrounded with don't, and you feel alone, I wouldn't stay around them for that much longer. Hey. It's like that quote, oh, show me your close, closest five friends or show me your closest friends, and I'll tell you the future of your life. Anyway, the video's gonna pop up in the corner. You can click on it whether or not if you like. Um, hopefully this helped you out. Stay consistent, and don't give up. All right, come here. So I'm Rugas.